establishing herself as an immensely successful actress, Lee Remick took her career to the next level by forming a production company and received a Tony nomination for her most famous Broadway role in the 1966 Wait Until Dark. But beyond those radiant, honey-haired beauty and erotic scenes are fascinating moments that shaped the life and time of the popular American actress. In this video, we'll be going behind the curtain to explore some of those secret moments that humanize this icon of yesterday. But just before we get into it, don't forget to watch this video to the end, hit the subscribe button for 7 years of good luck ahead, comment I subscribed, and we'll try our best to get back to you. Early Life Born Lee Ann Remick on December 14, 1935 to actress Gertrude Margaret and Frances Edwin in Quincy, Massachusetts, U.S., Lee attended the Swoboda School of Dance and the Hewitt School before joining Barnard College to study acting. She also received training at the Actors Studio, where she eventually made her debut with a role in the play Be Your Age. She made her first film debut in A Face in the Crowd. Lee Remick made her first public appearance with a role in the 1957 film A Face in the Crowd, directed by Elliot Kazan. The movie tells the story of a drifter who rises to fame after being discovered by a producer. The following year, she appeared in the film The Long Hot Summer and These Thousand Hills that led to her nomination for the Golden Globe for her role in the courtroom drama film Anatomy of a Murder. Rise to Stardom Remick came to the limelight as a rape victim, whose husband is tried for killing her attacker in Anatomy of a Murder, a 1959 courtroom drama crime film produced and directed by Otto Preminger. The screenplay by Wendell Mays was based on the 1958 novel of the same name written by Michigan Supreme Court Justice John D. Volker under the pen name Robert Traver. The film stars James Stewart, Lee Remick, Ben Gazzara, Eve Arden, George C. Scott, Arthur O'Connell, Catherine Grant, Brooks West, Arden's husband, Orson Bean, and Murray Hamilton. In 1960, she made a second film with Kazan, Wild River, which co-starred Montgomery Clift and Joe Van Fleet and played Miranda in a TV version of The Tempest with Richard Burton. She replaced Marilyn Monroe in Something's Gotta Give. When Marilyn Monroe was fired during the filming of the comedy Something's Gotta Give, the studio announced that Remick would be her replacement. Co-star Dean Martin refused to continue, however, saying that while he admired Remick, he had signed onto the picture strictly to be able to work with Monroe. She earned a total of seven Emmy nominations. Her role in the 1973 TV movie The Blue Knight won her a Golden Globe Award and also a nomination for an Emmy. Over the course of her entire career, she earned a total of seven Emmy nominations for her roles in TV miniseries and TV movies. Her last role on screen was the miniseries Around the World in 80 Days, a 1989 three-part television Eastman Color miniseries originally broadcast on NBC. The production garnered three nominations for Emmy Awards that year. Her most significant work was in The Days of Wine and Roses. One of the most significant works in Lee Remick's career was the drama film Days of Wine and Roses. Directed by Blake Edwards, the film was based on a book of the same name by J.P. Miller. The film was much appreciated by critics and it was nominated for five Oscars, winning one for the Best Original Score. Remick received an Oscar nomination for her performance and was also nominated for the BAFTA and the Golden Globe Awards. She also gained prominence for her role in the 1964 Broadway musical Anyone Can Whistle that tells the story of an economically depressed town whose corrupt mayoress, in an attempt to draw tourists, decides to create a fake miracle, which draws the attention of Faye Apple, an emotionally inhibited nurse, a crowd of inmates from a local asylum called The Cookie Jar, and a doctor with secrets of his own. The music score has since become acclaimed as a part of Sondheim's canon. Two years later, she again earned appreciation for her role in the play Wait Until Dark. The play was a major success and also earned her a nomination for the Tony Award in the Best Actress category. She got married twice. On August 3, 1957, Remick got married to producer Bill Colloran, whose credits include Your Hit Parade, The Dean Martin Show, and The Judy Garland Show. 
They had two children, Catherine Lee Colleran and Matthew Remick Colleran. Unfortunately, the marriage ended sooner than it began. Both divorced in 1968. Shortly after, Remick got married to British producer William Rory on December 18, 1970. Before they got married, William worked as an assistant director in the 1965 Darling. Far from the madding crowd and the lion in winter. Afterward, he worked on Sleuth, The Man Who Fell to Earth, and The Human Factor. She moved with Goins to England and remained married to him until her death. Final Exit Remick died of kidney cancer on July 2, 1991 at the age of 55 at her Brentwood home in Los Angeles. Legacy and Influence on Pop Culture Remick was awarded the Women in Film Crystal Award in 1990 and given a star in the motion pictures section on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6104 Hollywood Boulevard, which was dedicated April 29, 1991. Also, she became the subject of Lee Remick, the 1978 debut single by the Australian indie rock band The Go-Betweens. The British indie rock band Hefner recorded a song titled Lee Remick in 1998, unrelated to the Go Between single. Throughout her career, she was nominated for several more Golden Globes and Emmys for her powerful performances and won the BAFTA Award for her role in the TV miniseries Jenny, Lady Randolph Churchill in 1974. Though she passed away at an early age, Lee Remick remained the elegant actress who illuminated dozens of films, stage, and television plays. And that is it on the list of fascinating facts about Lee Remick. Let us know your thoughts about the iconic Remick in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, share with your friends, and hit the subscribe button for more interesting celebrity videos.